Headed back to the train station. Off to Prague. Off to Prague. Five and a half hour train ride. Should get there at like 6.30. But uh, Munich has been an unexpected great stop. So I'm glad we stopped in here and I'd love to come back. You should come visit if you ever get the chance. A serendipitous delight, absolutely. We've arrived. Let's go find our home. First looks of the city. We're just walking around. Probably gonna grab a beer. It's beautiful so far. Hustle and bustle up Saturday. Cheers. Got some of the change here, which is very interesting. This one's worth 50. Don't even know what this they call their change up. <laughs> well, anyway, there were plans to tear it down, but the city decided to turn it into a clock tower instead. Uh, anyway, uh, past that, um, late 19th century, there's this massive urban project all over town. It's called sanitation, and they're tearing down all the old medieval buildings on the 18th. on whether or not uh, it would fit in with the rest of the street. Uh, anyway, uh, Einstein, uh, did I say he was a physics professor? Uh, his Serbian wife, you know, she didn't really like the city so much. Uh, so they left and they went on to uh, bigger and better things. Uh, 30 years more, of course, ended in 1648. How in the world is this the newest monument? All right, so uh, back uh, between about 1649, 1650, and 1918, uh, there was a monument just like it that stood here. Uh, however, in 1918, when the Czechs got their independence from the Austro-Hungarian Empire, uh, there were some drunk Czech nationalists that were actually quite stoked about having their new country, and they came down here and pulled it to the ground. <laughs> There's Shane, there's our spot. Look how diseased there are. I'm not tall enough, but so many. For... So now we wait. Oh yeah, I love that. Jewish historians say was a golden age of Jewish history. Okay, so a little background. Prior to 1492, this was the completion of the Reconquista. Uh, you had the uh, Muslim Moors controlling the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula. It said that there were some Jews sitting along the Jewish town wall on Good Friday. There was a procession of priests walking by. Uh, they started to shout insults at these priests, and uh, one of them jumped off the wall, assaulted the priest scattered the Eucharist everywhere, and uh, this set the public off in a frenzy of violence for Easter weekend. They came down here and killed 3,000 people. 1959? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, That's one. A New World Symphony, and that was inspired by him living by a guy that uh, the Czechs can't even name. His name was Yul- 
just finished our walking tour and now we're having some snacks. I got some dumplings, two pies, and then Shane got some pork, I believe. Hello. All right, welcome to the Czech Republic where you can buy two liters of, it's only 3.8% beer, but a lot of these beers are, uh, I think the cheapest one I saw was 68 cents. So pretty good. Nice to be here after Switzerland and the Nordics. Yes. Stairmaster in real life. Head to the castle. Good for the bum. Good for the bum. The heroes continue on their journey. It's a very long line. But here are the two. <laughs> she is every eight years. There's Lovey, my crown jewel. This robe is beautiful. So yeah, the jewels here, these come out every eight years. The line goes all the way back there, coming back here. Do, 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 do. All the way here, where you have to go through security. Next. And this is the line outside, and it stretches all the way back that way. Here's the end of the line. As you see, it curves all the way back down there. And let's ask Lovey. Lovey, you've seen many jeweled things. Yeah, I was just at the residence in Munich, and they had much more sparkly jewels. Uh, Very sparkly. Dozens and dozens of jewels and emeralds and diamonds and all that. Oh my. So this was quite <laughs> quite the one down to wait for right 45 minutes maybe. And uh, <laughs> people cutting the lines and aggravating you. But they're only on display here in the Czech Republic for I think every five to eight years they're on display. So I had to see it. By popular demand they extended it two days, but not my favorite. <laughs> but this is a huge castle. So much armor. Wow. Some weapons and then a bunch of strongmen. So through a hostel they have a, another hotel and so they have a little wellness thing. So we have this jacuzzi, little changing area, snacks, you can get drinks down there as well. And a sauna, showers, robes and everything. So we are going to enjoy for the next 90 minutes, yes! 